What is up, Ada Nation? Welcome to the channel. My name is Farid, and in today's video, you guys are in for a treat. I just sat down with Narender, the Chief Business Officer for the Emergo Academy, and we were just chatting about everything that this educational platform has to offer to the Cardano community. Now, similar to my channel, they're looking to just educate and bring forth as much information and knowledge to the ever-growing crypto community. Now, that said, towards the latter end of the video, we do get a special offer from Narender himself for a 15% discount towards any crypto or any blockchain specific course booked through the Emergo Academy. So make sure to tune in and stay around for that particular piece of the video. And as always, if you guys do enjoy these types of interviews or just pieces of content in general, please make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing for more. And if you have any questions for me or Narender about the Emergo Academy, Academy, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, you guys enjoyed today's video. What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Farid, and as a part of today's update or interview, I'm going to be joined by a key member from the Emergo Academy to talk about everything that this platform has to offer when it comes to education around Cardano. So without any further ado, let's bring on Narender, the Chief Business Officer for Emergo. Narender, good morning. How are you doing? Hey, Farid, good morning. I'm doing fantastic. How about you? Thanks for having me here. I am great. I just kicked off um, this morning with back-to-back -back interviews, so you're actually my second interview of the day. But I'm now nice and warm, you know, so I'm ready to jump right on in and talk about the Emergo Academy. I want to thank you as well for your time. You know, I'm sure that you've got a, a pretty busy schedule as things are always, you know, um, moving in and out when it comes to Emergo and just Cardano, generally speaking, there's been so many updates, so many developments that I've also been having a hard time to keep up, you know, as a content creator, but it's a good thing to have, you know. Pleasure is mine, Farid. I, I can't really accept or agree more than what you said. And uh, we firmly believe on one thing, which is blockchain as a technology itself, that's an evolving technology. So, you know, there's always one saying that we, we kind of famously say, which is blockchain, if blockchain is evolving by the day, Cardano is evolving by the minute. So that's how much of changes that's happening around. So uh, it, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's a fantastic time that we are all in this space. Yes. And I think the Mergo Academy has a lot to do with how quickly and how many people are building on, on Cardano. So let's just go ahead and just jump right on in the render. Um, sure. Again, you're working and representing the Emergo Academy today. Do you mind giving myself and the viewers here a brief overview of what the Emergo Academy is and its primary purpose within the crypto and blockchain space? Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, so to set the context, Emergo, uh, Emergo Academy is the education arm of Emergo. And I'm sure you know, people would know about Emergo. Emergo is one of the co-founding entities of uh, Cardano and also the commercial venture arm of uh, Cardano. So, so coming back to Emergo Academy. So the Academy come this January, we are about, we turn five. So we've been training and skilling people for the last five years. Uh, to be precise, the last two and a half years, we've been skilling and training people on Cardano specifically. So once the Cardano hit the mainnet, we've been completely focused on building the Cardano ecosystem. So uh, at the academy, we, we just don't call ourselves an academy. We are a complete uh, training, learning and training ecosystem for the Cardano blockchain. So when I say ecosystem for learning and uh, training, uh, we have the content, we have the program, we have practitioners uh, who train up uh, our, uh, our learners. We, we kind of do have our, have our own certification. We have our own community, we have our own support system, and we have our own governance council. So that's why we call ourselves a, a learning, a training and learning ecosystem more than just an academy. So that's a very short brief about what the academy is and what we do. Thank you. And just to maybe feed off of that, right? What kind of inspired the need for something like this? Did you guys maybe spot a a knowledge gap early on when it comes to developers and Cardano. I know that Cardano boasts the extended UTXO model, which provides robustness and security, but it also makes things a little bit harder when it comes to development. Now, obviously, we're getting um, some abstraction layers with things, for example, like Icon, etc. But where did the need for the Emergo Academy actually come from? 
All right, so to answer that question, the need was any disruptive technology. When you take any disruptive technology, I'm sure uh, you know, it goes through phases. And when actually actual adoption starts, that's when uh, the actual requirement of talent comes in. You would need more people to be skilled and trained on that particular technology. And that's how this thought came from Emergo's uh, thought process five years before. We felt that the need of training education is very, very important because that's what is going to build the future developers on Cardano. So that's actually one of the uh, uh, reasons. And I would say definitely uh, the other reason is uh, when you need developers within the ecosystem to build on start, you know, build uh, either a startup within the Cardano ecosystem or build on anything new, you would have to have those many people there. And that's one of the reasons why Academy was born. The core existence of Academy is to churn more number of developers into the ecosystem so that the ecosystem can actually grow. So it's 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 like a circle, you know. It's it's like until unless you have developers working on Cardano, you, the ecosystem cannot grow. And how will that happen? That will only happen when you know people are really skilled and trained. That's one. Second, in this world of, I'm sure you know uh, you would agree when I say that there's already enough. Uh, you know, information available uh, on the web, but blockchain as a technology actually needs a structured training. And one of one of the biggest uh, uh, thing that we have stuck on for the last five years is all our tra all our training programs have been uh, live trainings. So which means we don't do anything which is recorded. We don't do anything which is uh, you know self paced. The the reason is very simple. We believe blockchain as a technology needs that handholding, needs that mentorship. So you would need, a, let's say, for example, I'm a learner. I would need somebody to knock on at any given time to clarify my doubts. And that comes through mentorship. So that's one of the reasons why I, I know Academy, or I would say the core existence of Academy is. Thank you. So one of the things that you just mentioned there about the EXO courses being live, when I think of that, there's two pieces that come to mind for me. Number one, it's always going to be up to date, right? Because I know that I'm not listening to a recording. And as you mentioned, because Cardano and just blockchain moves so quickly, every single day there's new products, new solutions, new dApps being built. You know, it's probably best for us to hear from somebody live. That way, again, we know that the information that we're getting is the most recent. On top of that, I think it also allows for direct communication and just the ability to be able to ask um, questions in real time, right? As opposed to watching a recording where again, everything is somewhat static and there's no deviating from whatever the video is talking about. It also actually you know, uh, helps in peer learning, uh, which is very important. And when it comes to, uh, especially blockchain as a technology, right? Uh, because if, if let's say for example, I have 30 learners in a batch that actually helps people to yeah, kind of uh, idea amongst themselves, talk about them, talk about uh, certain you know, uh, uh, things that they want to build, work together. And we've actually seen many of our learners kind of collaborate within the classrooms and then come up with brilliant startup ideas as well. So we, yep. you know, uh, because of this live training, peer learning also happens. I, I'm completely sure that that is the case. You know, again, I think it's, always easier to do things in numbers and educating and learning is no different, you know, when it comes to that. Now, let's maybe just jump into another aspect of things real quick. Do you mind touching on what blockchain the Mergo Academy focuses on? And I think that I know the answer, but I would like for the viewers to also maybe hear what you have to say when it comes to this. Sure. Uh, Mergo focuses on its own protocol, one of the uh, co-founding entities being, we, we being one of the co-founding entities. So we focus on Cardano as a blockchain. So we train and skill people on Cardano. Perfect. Short and sweet. I like it, Narendra. Again, I want to thank you for your time um, that you're taking out of your day today to talk to us about the Merco Academy. Let's move things along into the next topic, which is going to be surrounding the platform features. Do you mind maybe explaining some of the key features and just some of the, the different things or aspects that are utilized when some of these trainings take place? You know, are there things that maybe need to be done beforehand as prerequisites? And then maybe are there follow-ups, quizzes, just things that engage and force the actual um, 
person who's taking the educational course to maybe recall and make sure that they really understand the information. Perfect. So uh, there's one thing that we firmly believe at the Academy, uh, uh, Farid, which is blockchain is not just for technical people. It's just not for developers, you know, because there's always this mis misconsumption, you know, that a, a blockchain is only for developers, you know, people who can code is who, who, I can, who can actually kind of come and adapt blockchain. No. So that's one of the myths that we wanted to uh, break when we launched programs for both technical people as well as non-technical people. So when I say non-technical people, these are maybe domain experts. So we have programs which focus especially on uh, domain experts. So let's say, for example, I'm a fin no, fintech person. I'm from the finance industry. Or like maybe I might be from the insurance sector or I might be from the healthcare. I might be working, but how do I adopt blockchain into my day-to-day -day thing? So we have programs around that as well. So we do have deep dive tech programs, but I'm trying to talk about what is it that we offer from a uh, just a domain expert perspective. So now coming back to your question of uh, what is it that we offer? Uh, as I told you before, uh, the academy is just not an academy. We are a complete ecosystem. So one of the key features is uh, you know, all our training programs are handled by practitioners. So when I say practitioners, these are people who are subject matter experts and who got hands-on experience building on them. So which means that, let's say, for example, uh, uh, my Cardano Solutions Architect program, it's a deep dive, approximately 200 hours of program. I would, I would, even, I would kind of correlate it to a college degree. That's how deep that program actually goes in. Uh, so we have a module, let's say, uh, Blockchain Architecture and Design Principles. So that is handled by a separate practitioner. We, then we have a Haskell module. Haskell is handled by another practitioner. So these are domain pra expert practitioners, which means that we get the best of the best to come and teach uh, all, all the different uh, 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 curriculum that is embedded into these courses. So uh, practitioner-led training is one of the key differentiators that we have at the academy. Uh, other than that, we have our ears very close uh, to what's happening within the ecosystem, which means that we work on the feedback, not only from our learners, but also what in terms of the changes that is happening Two, three, we work with in industry experts within the ecosystem to ensure whatever we kind of teach inside the classrooms is very relevant. So which means that all our curriculum is always up to date. So, uh, you know, we always work with the CTOs and CXOs of various uh, you know, uh, uh, startups within the ecosystem to ensure that whatever we teach stays relevant right through. Uh, other than that, we have live projects at the end of certain deep dive tech programs, so which is where people actually get to implement whatever they have, they have learned. So we, we just don't focus on the theoretical aspect. We also ensure that uh, whatever they learn is put to practice as well. Uh, up, apart from that, we have our own uh, learning management system, which we call it as My Amargo. So this, this fosters learning anywhere. So you know, people can actually uh, uh, pick up the recorded videos and go through it on the go and kind of you know, learn through the learning materials that is uploaded onto the uh, platform. So these are the different uh, things that we have uh, uh, in terms of what we offer from the Academy, uh, Farid. Thank you. What really stood out to me there was number one, you're obviously working with industry experts, right? Which there's no better people to learn from when it comes to this very complicated stuff. But number two, what you just mentioned there was actually putting the education to use with um, things, for example, such as like the hackathon, right? So do you mind maybe touching on how you've seen the program progress and just some of the results, right? Are there any potential cases where you're like, okay, hey, we saw this particular student that came through the academy that, would, that was then able to turn around and make huge contributions into the Cardano ecosystem? Oh, definitely, yes, uh, Fred. There are a lot of such cases. There are many of our learners who've actually kind of, uh, kind of uh, partnered with various other students within uh, their batches and kind of uh, started very, uh, you know, various companies and got funded through Project Catalyst as well. And what the, I would say the re recent example would be uh, uh, one of our students who, I mean, uh, his name is Antonio Hernandez. He was the runner-up with the uh, Doro Hacks Hackathon that was, uh, you know, uh, done from Emergo's end. And he later went on to find, you know, find a company. For, you know, for, uh, he was the founder for the ZK ZK Fold company. So it's it's that I would say that founder is part of our uh, uh, Cardinal Solutions Architect program. 
So yeah, there are a lot of lot of other examples uh, that we can keep continuing. When actually people kind of move from your system, go kind of you know uh, uh, go through the grind of you know building their own company, and that to on Cardano, that's that's what is actually the true happiness that we get out of this this entire uh, uh, thing that we're doing. Right, right. I would kind of consider you guys as an incubator for developers, right? We've got accelerator programs that provide projects, all the tools that they need to get up and running. But you guys are doing the same exact thing, again, just specifically for developers or people looking to build on the Cardano blockchain. So really cool to hear that. And it's funny that you mentioned the ZK full team. I just had them on about 15 minutes ago for another interview. So I'll be releasing that update on the channel probably around the same time that this one here goes live. So let's talk about some of the actual course offerings and some of the programs. Narendra, do you mind specifying, you know, what educational courses are available right now for enrollment? And then potentially maybe some of the ones that you guys already executed and had in the past, you know, are these things that are being offered year round or are there classes that are maybe only offered a single time? All right. So there are a few programs that we offer uh, right through the year. Uh, there are a few programs that is offered on a specific uh, time frame. So I'll kind of take some time to explain what, what is it that we offer. So our flagship program is the Cardinal Solutions Architect program. Uh, this is the first and uh, I would say the only production level uh, developer program uh, that's available up for grabs in the entire ecosystem. Uh, it's, it's approximately 200 hours of program. So uh, this is a completely live faculty driven program. And for this, the you know basically uh, we we have uh, intake right through the year, so we continue to take uh, uh, people uh, uh, right through the year. So uh, we had launched the last cohort in August, so we would be waiting for the next cohort to happen in uh, uh, I would say November. So that's when the next cohort would uh, uh, come up. So uh, in terms of uh, this is the I would say the flagship program of uh, Academy. Apart from that, uh, there is. A, from a non-tech perspective, uh, we used to offer a program on foundations of blockchain. Currently, we have kind of stopped that, and we're kind of focusing on more on DeFi program. So DeFi program, we have uh, two different offerings. Uh, we have partnered with uh, University of Nicosia, uh, and we offer a, a DeFi program in partnership with uh, University of Nicosia. Uh, so it's it's uh, it's called as the DeFi Labs. So it's an eight-week program. It's you know, co-partnered, co-delivered along with the University of Nicosia. I'm sure uh, people who know about University of Nicosia, it, it is it was one of the first universities, if I'm if I remember correctly, to launch a master's program on decentralized ledger. That was that was way way back. So we've partnered with them to do a DeFi program. So this of this program we offer twice a year. So we we run only two cohorts in a year. So we've uh, till date we've done. We've just about successfully completed the second cohort uh, of the DeFi Labs program with the University of Nicosia. Uh, and we've also released uh, the certificate in the form of NFT. So this was also one of the first that the Academy has done, which is releasing a certificate in the form of NFT. So we always have uh, done a, a digital certification, a digital badge. Uh, for University of Nicosia programs, we have started issuing uh, NFT. So we have kind of done an airdrop of uh, NFT. The other DeFi program, uh, this is one of our latest, uh, which is we have launched it along with uh, uh, the CDA, which is the Cardano DeFi Alliance. So uh, it's a consortium of all the uh, DeFi uh, startups in the ecosystem, within the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, uh, it's, an, I would say, a consortium of more than 10 different companies. So this is a program where uh, we do specific DeFi program, which is on Cardano. So the uh, one with the University of Nicosia is a generic uh, DeFi program, but the one that we're doing with the CDA is very, very specific to Cardano. And this is, I would say, uh, for the community, by the community. So that's how we would want to put it across. Uh, basically, for uh, 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 I, I don't think there's any other program that's available where you get to hear from people who have actually built these protocols. So that's, that's the beauty of uh, the uh, CDA program. So that's the other offering that we have. Apart from that, uh, we do have uh, uh, something that we'd be launching very soon, which is uh, a university program, which we want to, which we call the Smart Blocks, uh, which is which is in the cooking stage. But I, I think early November uh, we would uh, we would announce it. 
So uh, it's a program uh, focused with collaborating with the universities. The whole idea is that, you know, we are looking at to collaborate with the uh, universities from an education perspective, research perspective and innovation perspective. So uh, one of the key differentiators for universities is how many research papers that any university has got. So uh, we would want to truly work with these universities to enable them to publish more papers on blockchain. Uh, and to be more specific, more blog uh, papers on Cardano. So that's that's where we you know, we are going to go uh, starting November. So that's one more program that is going to be launched. That's called a Smart Blocks. So these are the various programs that we uh, have uh, free. Thank you, Narendra. Just to recap here, it sounds like your bread and butter is going to be the Cardano Solutions Architect course, which, as you mentioned, is offered multiple times per year. You guys are currently working on two different types of DeFi related courses, one of them being a newer one called the DeFi Masterclass, which I'm personally interested in checking out again because I cover so many of those projects. I really want to hear what they have to say when it comes to utilizing not only their protocols, but just getting a better understanding of how DeFi DeFi and Cardano works. And then you just mentioned this very last program right now, which is still somewhat in the background that we might be hearing a little bit more about in the next month or two. So really cool stuff there. Now, the next question that I had here on the agenda was actually surround. Yep, go ahead. I have one more thing. So um, mm -hmm. uh, one of, as I told you before, one of the things that we always do is, you know, we kind of keep our, our ears very close to uh, the community. So one of the things that the community actually wanted was uh, something from the academy, which is, uh, you know, where which can people can actually take it for free and understand. So we actually did launch a free Haskell program uh, about a month, one and a half months before. So uh, we've got launched a free Cardano Haskell developer program. Uh, uh, so I'm sure, you know, people who are building on Cardano, they know that, Cardano is built on top of Haskell, and Haskell being Haskell, one you know being the functional language that it is. Now it actually requires that you know uh, uh, real live uh, teaching. It's you know there are I'm sure you know, uh, there would be a lot of people who can do that self learning on Haskell as well. But the majority of people that we've actually trained or you know we know what is it that they go through in terms of and um, trying to understand Haskell. So we we wanted to ensure that uh, we. The one way to get more people into Cardano is by making Haskell uh, you know, accessible to everybody. So we said we will kind of roll out that program for free. So we, we're going to have one more uh, cohort of this free Cardano Haskell developer program in the month of January again. I will go ahead and leave the link to that particular course down below. But please thank whoever had the idea to make that course free. Um, I think like you said, you literally hit it right on, on the head. Haskell is... I don't want to say it's a barrier, but it's always a pain point for people to come into the ecosystem. And so for you guys to listen and understand that and then turn around and actually make that course free, I think really shows your guys' testament to educating and pushing the entire space forward. So again, I'll make sure to leave the link to enroll in that particular course down below for any developers or just any Cardano community members or even people that are outside of Cardano, right, that may be considering jumping into the ecosystem and developing on top of Haskell. Now, the next thing that I wanted to mention was actually something that I think you somewhat touched on already, which was going to be the content or educational consumer, right? So I want to maybe just briefly ask you this, and of course, feel free to rehash or maybe just give me a short answer on this one, but who are these courses built for? And like, what is your target audience, you know? All right, so uh, as I told you before, uh, we have programs for various target groups. So uh, we have programs uh, aimed at developers. So let's say, for example, uh, uh, I'm a developer and I'm really fascinated by blockchain and I want to get into Cardano. We have deep dive tech programs on Cardano, which people can choose, pick and choose. Uh, so we have programs for developers. We have programs for domain experts. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm, I'm a person with 15 years of experience and I'm from the fintech world. Uh, I'm not technical, but how do I, but I, I, I'm so fascinated about uh, what blockchain can do to the finance world. How do I understand? So the DeFi program that I spoke about actually need, does not need any technical knowledge. So I can really come and appreciate that program. Apart from that, we do have a program called this uh, you know, uh, business blockchain consultant. So uh, just the word says business, but this, 
this is a course that can be really appreciated by any domain expert, irrespective of whichever industry that they are from. So uh, I would say domain experts are the other category of people that come into our programs. Apart from that, we do have uh, students, uh, you know, uh, fresh graduates who are looking into uh, uh, kind of starting their careers into Web3 straight. You know, they have the luxury of choosing, you know, to start their career in Web3, uh, unlike us who, who did not have the luxury of, you know, saying, hey, I'm going to start my career in Web3. We, we too had, you know, we kind of had to go through the stages, you know, start somewhere, but get into Web3 at a later stage. So the, you know, these are students who have the luxury of uh, straight away jumping into the Web3 bandwagon. So we do have them as well. And we are definitely apart from that, uh, we have a lot of professionals, working professionals who are looking at to uh, upgrade their skill set, uh, kind of looking for a better opportunity. So these are the various target groups that we cater to. So it sounds like basically you guys have a platform where anybody can jump in and begin to get some insights regardless of their knowledge level. So I really like to hear that. Now, we focused on the courses, the academy itself, and the educational consumer or the content consumer. Let's maybe focus now on some of the projects and potential integrations that you guys have. So you mentioned the DeFi Masterclass and the fact that you're going to be collaborating with some of the top builders in the ecosystem. You know, how do you guys go about picking these different projects? And then are you guys maybe working in the background to, to begin integrating the Mergo Academy in different facets of the Cardano ecosystem? All right. So to answer that question, see, uh, uh, at the Academy, uh, uh, we, we ensure that you know, whatever we teach we want to ensure that it stays relevant. So from that perspective, uh, we always ensure that we keep talking to people. And one of the way that we do is by doing a lot of community events. So uh, one of the key feature at the Academy is we keep doing community events, which are very focused on uh, 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 startups and you know, protocols, or you know, I would say startups within the Cardano uh, ecosystem. So for example, we've done multiple workshops, which actually showcases these uh, 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 startups so for, uh, to name a few we've done a uh, option uh, so we've done a community event based on option we've done a, a community event based on endcoin uh, 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 genius yield uh, there are multiple uh, 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 community events that we've done so one of the bad necessity that comes out of that is we understand that what is it that people are looking at uh, as, as in terms of the future and that's what actually determines us saying, all right, so this is where people are going in. And this is where there is going to be uh, so much of requirement in terms of people to be trained systematically in a structured way. And that's how the DeFi programs came out. Similarly, there are other programs. So for example, the smart block program that we're talking about, it's, it's a fallout of what we've understood from the students uh, and from the university. Uh, we've done a lot of community events for the colleges uh, where we've heard uh, 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 professors and you know, directors of colleges come into our uh, events and say that, hey, one of the things that we lack within our university is basic research capability on blockchain. So uh, these are all the programs that we have put together are from what we actually uh, are, are, I would say, the need is coming from the ground. So that's how we structure all our programs. And to answer your other question in terms of partnership, I think we've spoken about that. So we, we kind of work with uh, CDA, that's the latest. So it was about two months before we launched this program. So it's it's the program is going awesome. Uh, people are uh, really enjoying it because they get to hear from people who have created it. And there's nothing like talking to them one-on-one -on, -one on a live class and getting all their questions addressed. That's the best part of it. That, that's so true. And I think that's what I try to do here with my YouTube channel, right, is bring the people that are building the protocols to the forefront. Now, granted, a lot of my content is pre-recorded, but I aim to kind of set the same kind of standard, really allowing people to hear directly from the builders. That way, there's no questions about and ifs or buts about, you know, certain things about the protocol. So let's go ahead and just kind of close things down. I've got two questions and then we're going to wrap up today's video. The next is going to be surrounding future developments for the Mergo Academy. You did mention that you guys are working on an upcoming course, but you know, what is next for the Mergo Academy? Could we ever see pre-recorded stuff? Um, you know, what 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 else is are on you, your guys' are, are, are you Are you reading my mind there, Farid? <laughs> All right, so I think uh, you are, uh, yes. We're going to launch a self-paced learning program very soon. 
So early next year, uh, we would be launching a self-paced uh, 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 learning program. So uh, we'd be uh, not all the programs, but there are a few select programs that we'd be offering for people to uh, uh, learn at their own pace uh, without the uh, 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 intervention of a live uh, session. So that's definitely uh, on the cards. That's something that we plan to launch early next year. Uh, the other one is all our all our training programs are centered around English as the medium of instruct instructions. So we are looking at to go multilingual. Uh, so starting next year, we are looking at uh, uh, the uh, academy programs to have multilingual flavor, not just not just the uh, AI tra no, translations. No, you're talking about people actually teaching in a different language altogether as well. So that's the other one. Uh, there's one more thing that we're going to do, which is called as a comply wise. So comply wise is the program name that we're going to do for uh, offline workshop uh, on taxation, legal, regulatory compliance, because this is where you know uh, a lot of buzz happens around, uh, and people need some clarity. And this would vary between various geographies. So uh, uh, we've taken it on, on the academy to ensure that we want to uh, give a clear cut direction in that sense as well. So we would be launching, and this would be offline. So which means in person uh, workshops. Uh, we got so uh, the academy is going to be not just you know sticking to live uh, in person live trainings. We are going to move into a uh, self paced which is e learning, and we're also going to uh, go back to. Uh, offline workshop so we which means we've kind of got all all three modes of uh, delivery covered so these uh, the student workshop is going to be aimed at uh, taxation legal regulatory compliance uh, for a particular geography let's say for example uh, london so we we would do a workshop which in london talking about the law of the land what what is relevant for london or uh, the entire uh, europe uh, perspective so that's one thing that is uh, slated to be launched in uh, uh, Q1 of uh, early next year. And we also are looking at to do a uh, DeFi in-person workshop in Singapore. So these are something that uh, that is going to be available uh, uh, in the near future. Whatever I'm talking about is uh, Q1 of 2024. Oh, so that's literally right around the corner. That's really good yep. to hear. So just to recap again here, I've got self-paced learning, multi-language support, and then what it sounds like is going to be actual in-person workshops where like you can actually touch the instructor, right? So that's really yes. cool to hear as well. Uh, so it sounds like quite a bit coming down the pipe. So Narendra, let's go ahead and, you know, just close this out here. Last question for you. Any closing thoughts when it comes to the Emergo Academy? You know, again, generally what you've seen or maybe just how somebody can go ahead and join the Academy and join the community. Sure. Uh, so uh, in terms of how we see this, uh, we want Emago Academy to be the one-stop qualitative solution for all upskilling, upskilling needs on Cardano. So that's how I would want to put it. And we want to help uh, build the adoption of uh, Cardano. So the whole objective of Academy is to ensure that we do as much as possible from our end to help build adoption of Cardano. So that's I would that's what I would say. And in terms of how people can join, so uh, for, uh, uh, for anybody who's coming through your channel, watching it through your channel, and who's interested in, uh, let's say, any of the program that is offered at the Academy, we would be more than happy to offer them a 15% discount. All they have to do is use uh, the code that I'm going to mention, which is DAP Central 15. That's D-A-P-P Central 15. All they have to do is just use this code, email it to education at emergo.io, and we'll be more than happy to provide them with a 15% discount on any of the programs that they intend to take. And we would have this uh, code valid until November end. So people can use this until any time until November. What a nice gesture there, Narendra. Um, I really do appreciate that. Again, really showing how much you guys care about the community here. For anybody who is planning on taking advantage of that particular discount code, please make sure to go ahead and check out the full lineup of courses available at education.emergo.io. That will bring us here to the end for today's video. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I've got Narendra joining me, Chief Business Officer representing the Emergo Academy, helping to bridge the knowledge gap when it comes to developing on Cardano. 
Now for you, the viewer, if you guys found today's chat to be helpful in any way, shape or form, as always, I would appreciate you guys if you could hit the like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this surrounding the builders and contributors to the ecosystem, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for myself or Narendra surrounding the Emergo Academy or just how to get in touch with them, then please make sure to go ahead and leave those comments down below. That said, and as always, we'll catch you guys in the next video.